Hello and welcome back to Math and Tea, the show where we talk math and drink tea. I'm your host, Professor Joseph Van de Heij. And in this episode, let's talk slang and jargon. Every field has its words and phrases that are bandied about but uh, rarely explained. And math is no different in this regard. So in this video, let's take a look at some of these examples of slang from mathematics and what they mean. Also, I tried to make all of my definitions dictionary-like, but I am very much not a lexicographer. You have been warned. Let's start with a proof from the book. This means an extraordinarily elegant proof. This particular phrase comes from mathematician Paul Erdős, who had his own personal lingo. Most of it has not expanded to the general mathematical community, but this one in particular has. Hitting it with a sledgehammer using an extremely powerful result to prove something far less powerful, especially if such usage is unnecessary. Sometimes the powerful result itself is referred to as a sledgehammer. Abuse of notation. Deliberate usage of incorrect or informal mathematical notation. This is often employed when strictly adhering to mathematical formalism would be confusing or inconvenient. So we might use R to refer just to the set of real numbers, or it could refer to the set of real numbers equipped with the order less than, or to the group consisting of the set of real numbers and addition. And it could refer to all of these things inside the same proof. Well-behaved or nice, satisfying desired conditions. Pathological, failing to satisfy desired conditions, especially if such examples are rare. Stronger, implies or contains as a subcase. We typically use this when comparing two different results. One result is said to be stronger than another if it implies the latter, or if it contains the latter as a subcase. Okay, now a warning on this page. These two terms are some of the most politically fraught terms in all of mathematics. Use them with extreme caution. Deep and elementary. Deep, requiring highly specialized mathematical knowledge. Elementary requiring no more than general mathematical knowledge, sometimes derogatory. Now, of course, what is meant by highly specialized or general is really up to the listener or the speaker. Typically, what is meant here is highly specialized or general for mathematicians. Be aware that calling something elementary can be implying that it's not important. Folklore theorem, a result whose proof is known but unpublished. Sometimes results persist in being called the folklore theorem even after they have been published if they remained unpublished for an extremely long time. Named result, a result which contains a person's name, such as Fermat's little theorem or Gauss's lemma. Here's a bit of Latin, which, by the way, I have no idea how to pronounce, generally speaking. QED, short for quoterat demonstrandum, or that which was to be demonstrated. It typically marked the end of a proof, However, it's no longer as common in written mathematics. I still see a lot of teachers using it on the board, but not in formal papers. Ad infinitum or ad nauseum, to continue endlessly. In the second case, this literally means to continue until one is sick. Confer or CF, compare. This is commonly used in the context of, here is one thing, confer this other thing, meaning Take a look at what I've done in the first thing and compare it with what I've done in the second thing. Kills off, removes or eliminates. If A kills off B, then we might say that B dies. Vanishes, becomes zero. Whereas kills off can refer to most mathematical objects, vanishes is used almost exclusively with numbers. Blows up or explodes, tends to infinity. Brute force proof. Proof by extensive case-based analysis, used particularly when more theoretical techniques would cover many cases at the same time. Heuristic, an informal explanation for why a statement is believed to be true. Hand wave, to align over details, sometimes derogatory. This can be used to refer to, say, a lecture where we want the details to be given, but the presenter chose not to give them. We'd say they hand waved through them. Proper or strict excluding the possibility of equality, so one can have a proper subset and a strict inequality. Sharp, cannot be strengthened. 
we would call the inequality x squared is greater than or equal to zero sharp over the real numbers, as we cannot replace zero by a larger number and thereby strengthen the inequality. And now for perhaps the hardest thing to actually define, modulo, after treating what follows as equivalent. For example, the space which satisfies these conditions is unique modulo isomorphisms means that there could be multiple spaces which satisfy the conditions, but they are all isomorphic. So after treating isomorphic spaces as the same, there is really only one such space. We often use up to in a synonymous fashion. And that does it for our first round of mathematical slang and jargon. Hope you learned something, but uh, now it's time for me to get some more tea. Bye.